Hello. About 66 years ago, while I was still at Sydney Teachers College, I learnt this musical version of The Three Little Pigs. It was taught to me by one of the lecturers who performed it at the college camp at Yarramundi in about 1952 or 3. I have done this several times over the years and uh, the most recent one being at Rosemary Berting's birthday party where everyone was asked to do something and I was encouraged to record it. So here it is. There's a tale you've heard when you were young, when you were young, when you were young. But I'll bet you've never heard it sung, for that's what I will try to do. It concerns three pigs of tender age, of tender age, of tender age. So direct your ears towards the stage, and I will do my best for you. This is the story of three little pigs. I did a for we are the three little pigs. Pigs with pigs. I did a licks. I am their mother. They have no other. I love my own piggies three. I am the big bad wolf. I am the big bad wolf. I want to tell you how oh, really bad I am. So just you ever tease me or I'll eat you up. I am the big bad wolf. Ah. One fine day in spring when the birds did sing and the birds did sing Mother Pig with a tearful eye addressed her children as she said goodbye. For they had reached the age when they should go a seeking a living on their own to build a little home. So listen to the words that their ma was speaking, her voice full of emotion, as tenderly she gave her blessing and said to them. My children, my children, my heart's full of sadness Now that you're leaving your home and your man Remember, my children, this world's full of sadness One day you're piggy, the next day you're ham Oh, for that's what happened to father, that's what happened to father, that's what happened to father. <laughs> Heed my words and remember my warning, whenever you may stray. Cause the big bad wolf dressed in sheep's clothing is waiting patiently to catch his prey. Mar, oh ma, don't take this parting hard. You can bet we'll be on our guard. We won't be taken in by tricks. You're only worrying for nicks. We won't be changed one day from pork to lard. With spirits keen and trotters clean, they turn their heads to the north. They raise their voices to warble, and here's the song they burst forth. Oh, who's afraid of the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not, not, and not. 
So when they reached the land where things looked fresh and clean, they all took out their blueprints to commence their housing scheme. They picked their own location and got underway with a and a and a the live long day. Number one was fond of dancing, looked on life as a dreadful bore. He spent all his time balancing, so he fashioned his house of straw. Number two said joints for boozing, only open from nine till six. Think of all the time I'm losing, so he fashioned his house of sticks. Number three said, you're both wrong, you're both wrong, you're both wrong. So he sang this little song, tra la 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 The house I'm building all alone is a little brick house I'll call my own. It's reinforced and earthquake proof, it's a solid job from floor to roof. Ha ha ha, he he he, there ain't no blinkin' flies on me. Ha ha ha, he he he, the big bad wolf, he won't catch me, but the wolf, the wolf was waiting down in the woods, planning a brainy stunt. He said, by crikey, the time is ripe to open my second front. He sniffed the breeze and nodded his head, and turning to his children, he said, Today's the day we'll have pork and beans for dinner. Number one soon had a visitor. The big bad wolf came knocking at the door, tried to pull the friendly act when he had rung the bell. Open up the door, me hearty, like hell. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Huff, puff, blow your house down. Huff, half and half and puff and puff and half and half, half. Down came the roof, and off went the porkers, to their brother they tore. Wolf in pursuit, the pace was a corker, till they reached the door. But the wolf was disappointed, for he had lost the race door slammed right in his face. So he climbed on the roof and squinted down the chimney. He said, by crikey, I'll have them for tea. But the pigs put some turps in a great big pot by Jiminy, and on the fire they placed it with glee. Down the chimney came the wolfie, crying out, you'll soon be mine. It was Bonza when his mm -mm touched the boiling turpentine. He cried, oh, shot right out the flue. Beyond the blue horizon, how that villain did fly. He won't be returning, how his rear was burning. They say that he's still war-running, can't get down to a walk. He's changed his name to Isaac Stein, and he won't eat pork. So the piggies had a party to celebrate their victory, and they raised their voices heartily as merrily they sang. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf, the big bad wolf? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not, not, and not. So here's some moral to help you on your way. Houses jerry-built and flimsy never pay.